As much as I love it, all this mathematics and working out, we're very bored of that. People want to meet the star of the moment. I mean, we're here to see the prime. I mean, I didn't print it out just so I can push it to the side and ignore it. Let's actually have a, oh my goodness. Okay, we can have a closer look at this, just digit after digit. You gotta think, this many digits, is there any rhyme or reason to what's going on in here? Or are these effectively just random digits? Well, I uh, did a double check. I ran through every single digit and I did a count to see what was the most popular digit and number five, there you are. Digit five is the most common occurrence. Uh, five is all the way up there with 10.01% of the digits are fives so off the chart, whereas four, only 9.99%. Turns out there are, there are about 4,000 more fives than there are fours across all of these books. But when you look at it, you're talking millions, tens of millions, a difference of a couple thousand is not much at all. For all intents and purposes, the digits are evenly distributed. We would call it a normal number in uh, mathematics as such. And so in terms of the digits, it's actually not that exciting um, as far as they go. I did a bit more digging through the numbers. And if you want to find your birthday, some of you are thinking, is my birthday? Is it in here somewhere? If you take the two digits for the day of your birth and then the two digits for the month and two digits for the year, I can guarantee you it's in there. In fact, however you want to write your date of birth, as long as it's six digits, it's in there. Every single six digit string is in there somewhere and slightly over 89% of all seven digit strings are in there somewhere. Obviously the whole number is prime. Are there many other prime numbers in there? That's a very good point. Are there subprimes within the prime? So obviously all the six digit or smaller primes are in there. They're guaranteed. It only gets interesting when you hit seven digits. So actually let's find the biggest six digit prime. I've got the location. There it is. So uh, it's 999983. So 999,983. We are in volume one. I don't want to, if I lose that, I'll never find. So we're in volume one. It's quite early days, to be honest. Uh, and then there it is 999983. That number actually appears in here 23 times. That's why we're quite early days, because there's 22 more of them before you get to the... Uh, it's, an, it's a similar, very exciting read on the way through, uh, and you will come across that another 22 times. And the reason I like that prime is that prime, and every prime smaller than it, is in there somewhere. There's a continuous run of primes all the way up there. The next prime, one billion and three, not in there. And that's solely because you're now looking for a seven digit number and it's, you know, one tenth as likely it's going to be in there. And that's when you start missing them. Yeah, no, most of them are in there because about 89% of all seven digit strings are in there somewhere. We can say, I'd say, give or take, 89% uh, of all seven digit primes are in there somewhere. It just happens to be the first one that's not, the second one is, and then so on. I mean, uh, one billion and 33 is in there. And then the next couple are, and then the one missing that's not, and so on. And so I thought it'd be a really interesting bit of math. It's like, oh, look at me, I'll find primes in a prime. And it turns out it's just a quirk of the base system that because you go up in length, it becomes a lot less likely to find it because we're effectively looking at random digits. Sorry, Curtis. And so you're looking for a longer run, you're not going to find it. All right, so the question everyone has is always, what does it begin and end with? Ending, I don't find, everyone loves the last number. But the trouble with the last number is you know it's not going to be an even number. You know it's not going to be a five. You know it's not going to be a zero. Turns out it's a one. There it is. So it ends one. I'm always excited personally to find the first digit because that, I mean, that could be anything. Well, it's not a zero, but it could be pretty much anything. So here we go. And the first digit of the largest prime number ever known to humans so far is a three. Look at that. Starts three and then some zeros. Three, so zero, zero show up in force once you get past the beginning. So three, zero, zero, three, seven, six, four, one, eight. Oh, let me know when to stop. Eight, zero, eight. I can keep going for a very long time. Uh, eight zero, I lost my place. Oh, I'll start from the beginning. Four six zero six one eight two zero five two nine eight six zero nine eight three five nine one six six zero five zero. A lot of zeros. Zero five six eight seven. It's actually been a very long week for me because this was announced yesterday, but I found out about it the week before. I've got, I've got some insiders 
in the uh, prime hunting world. And so they told me in advance and I've had to not tell anyone until yesterday. I actually got to phone up and talk to Curtis Cooper, the guy who uh, found the prime before it was announced. And so there's a video on my Stand Up Mass channel. And so, I mean, obviously everyone who subscribes to Number File obviously subscribes to Stand Up Mass as well. But if you go over there, you can see me talk to him. And when they first found the prime, it was actually four months before they even realized it was there. There was a server error and it went unannounced for a very long time. And apparently it was very embarrassing 